Now we come to a question, uh, to, to a topic of electric field, okay? And as it happens with, with all of physics, this also arose from a question, uh, a pretty innocent kind of question and, and uh, at times you will also find it a silly question that was asked. Look, if there is a, a charge here, okay, say Q, okay, this charge is say fixed, fine, or, or it is glued to its spot by, by something, okay, but somehow it is fixed here and I place a small charge Q here. Now, depending on their polarities, what will happen is there will be either a repulsive force or an attractive force between the two. Right? Now, question that was asked was this. How did this charge know that this charge has come here? And it started pulling or pushing it. You understand it? That means when this charge was not there, when this charge was not there, was there still something here in this space or it so happened that when this charge came, somehow it told him that I have come, then he exerted a force on it or, or it also came to know that this is there and somehow they communicated and then the force was exerted. Now, we, knowing that the charges are inanimate, obviously there cannot be that sort of communication, right? So, it was felt that even when this charge is not there, there must be something in this space. Okay? And maybe, <coughs> maybe due to the interaction of this charge with that something leads to the force. Leads to the force. Okay, and, and that is pretty, pretty uh, understandable, commonsensical, uh, not commonsensical I'll say, but, but that's something that, uh, something that appeals to us, right? So we feel that, okay, so there must be, must be something there, even when this Q is not here. Now, let us come back to the, to the, to the Coulomb's law, okay, which says that, this is your, this is your force or rather I can say this is my force where, where R is a, is a vector in from here to there, right? Okay. Now, if this Q is not there, okay, because, because we have only this with us, right? This is the primary thing. We, we, we have full faith on what, what this is. It has been experimented upon. Correct. Now what, what we do, how can I remove this from here? If I multiply both sides by 1 upon Q, somehow I find that this Q will vanish from here. Why? Because it has to be independent of this. Right? So it why, has to why? be... Hmm? Why does it have to be? Because, because, because I am trying to find out why it has to be independent. That, that, that's, that's what we are trying to discuss, right? What we are saying, what is here when this is not there? So when Q is not there, okay, it has to be only due to this. You have to get rid of Q somehow. Yes? You have to get rid of Q somehow. Somehow that Q has to come out. Correct? Correct? Now what? Now what? So this? Okay? So is this? Now it is this that we called electric field. 
this is what we call electric field okay Okay, we had to define something. <clears throat> we had to. We are actually trying to explore the presence of something that is independent of Q. You understand? Yeah. And this we called, started calling the electric field. This, this we, we called the electric field. field okay correct why because it is due to due to capital Q because it is due to capital Q but is independent of small Q correct correct so E will also be equal to F by Q yeah, it, it is E which is F by Q, no? It is, it is electric field which is 1 upon Q into F. Correct. It is defined like that and then the value comes out to be this. Fine. Okay, fine. Now let us try to understand something. Let us try to understand something. <clears throat> if this is a positive charge and this is also a positive charge, if this is a positive charge and this is a positive charge, I know that the force that this experiences is in this direction. Is it not? Coulombs. Likes repel. Fine. So force is in this direction. And Q is positive. Q is positive. So what is the direction of E? That is F, cap F capital Q small Q. What? That force is... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This force is this. The same force. Force on Coulomb, small Q Coulomb. Coulomb. Yes, yes, yes. F small q capital Q in a sense you can call that right now now try to understand if this is positive and this was positive okay force I know the direction of force now E I have defined as 1 upon q q is positive so 1 upon q is also positive Maybe different in magnitude, but 1 upon Q is positive. Now, if I multiply a vector by a positive number, if I multiply a vector by a positive number, what is the direction of the resultant vector? This is, a, this is the <coughs> scalar multiplication of a vector by a, obviously, by a scalar. Okay. Okay, it is multiplication of a vector by a scalar. Not a dot product, not a cross product, just multiplication. Okay, just scalar multiplication. Now, if this is this, if this is positive, then the direction of E is the same as that of is the same as that of F. Get that point. Get that point. It is the same as F. And the direction of F is this. So what is the direction of E? So according to us, the direction of E is this. The same, it, it lies in the same space. I have drawn it a bit, bit below because just so as, so, so as to not, not be overlapping both of them. Greater than F or greater than E depends on actually the, the magnitude of 1 upon Q. Now what if, what if the Q was negative? Okay, if Q was negative, okay, if Q was negative, 
then the force on 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 this would have been in this direction attractive correct that was the direction of force f for q negative correct and if i had multiplied 1 by q if q was negative 1 by q would also be negative and if I multiply it by 1 upon Q, what happens? 1 upon Q, so 1 upon Q is negative. A negative vector getting multiplied to this turns my electric field in the opposite direction. So it gives me what? It gives, it gives me, it tells me something that for a positive Q, your your field will be radiating out of the charge. Capital Q. Because, because it became absolutely independent of, of small q. You take it positive or negative, does not matter. And it should be because you are defining E as something which is absolutely independent of small q. If it starts depending on q, small q, then obviously there is something wrong with our definition itself. The direction depends now on small no. The direction of E does not depend. The direction of F depends. The direction of F depends. But the direction of, of E does not depend. That is what I am trying to drive home. So I have come to the conclusion that for a positive Q, for a positive Q, the electric field <coughs> points in the radially, points in the radially outward direction. Points in the radially outward direction. Do we get the point? Now, now, so, so, uh, since we are at it, let us try to understand what if this Q was negative, this was a negative Q. And I had put a negative Q here. Then the force on this would have been radially outward. So this would have been the force. So what would be the electric field? outward multiplied by a negative q so the field would flip in the opposite direction field would have been something like this this would have been the field what if i had put a positive charge here if the charge was a positive one then the force would have become something like this and a positive force the the this thing multiplied by a positive charge okay this is for for positive small q and one upon q multiplied by that force would keep the field in this direction force was this if this was positive it will be attractive so so and, and q is positive so one upon q is positive positive multiplied by a vector keeps the direction the same so e but will one, up, one upon okay for q positive q is positive right so why did we take f positive because it's the opposite direction of the particle. i have not taken f as anything i have taken f as whatever was our first conclusion our conclusion was likes attract and likes repel but it still f is positive the force is attractive you multiply it by one upon q one upon q is positive it keeps the vector in the same direction Which? Which equals to k q by r square r dash. How? Tell me. We know the direction of the force. Hmm? You know the direction of r cap. Yeah. Outward, outward normal. So if it is minus q or plus q, so. But this is more intuitive, you know. You understand what is the direction. So, so what happens for a positive q? The electric field points in the radially outward direction. And for a negative Q, for a negative Q, 
क्यू द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड पॉइंट्स इन द रेडियली इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन इन द रेडियली इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन राइट रेडियली इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन करेक्ट वी गेट द पॉइंट इट पॉइंट इन द रेडियली इनवर्ड डायरेक्शन so somehow electric field points in a particular direction depending on the polarity of the charge and and if i want the force so if someone has told me what the field is the force becomes q into e is it not so it is q into e many a times you will be given given the the electric field and whatever charge you put it's your it's your headache okay so you just multiply that by q and 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 that and you get the force and we have to put so if there is a field in this direction and you put say a charge plus q on that you will experience a force in the same direction as field because e is is scalar multiplied by a positive number and if you multiply it by a negative charge then what happens if you multiply it by a negative charge then the force becomes something like this negative charge this is positive charge so if i am given the field direction and i put a positive charge into that then the charge tends to flow in the direction of the field but if i if i if i put a negative charge the the charge tends to move in the direction opposite to the direction of the field you understand that <coughs> okay fine okay 